We are talking cell perfusion today. Welcome to my science lesson. And why it is so important to have healthy cell function? Because you have 28 trillion, trillion cells inside your body. And what does a cell do? It gives you life. It is the function and form of life itself. The cells in your body are how and why you are what you are right there in form because of your cells. Now our cells need cell perfusion. What is that? It is the ability of a cell to pull nutrients in, do what it has to do with those nutrients, send them off, zip them around, make them do things, and then excrete waste out. That is cell perfusion. How they do that is via the lymphatic system, via your blood, your circulation. Now we're gonna do a little experiment to show you what happens when you have a clean cell and a dirty cell. Okay, so if I've got a clean cell, it means that I am able to perfuse better. My circulation's gonna be better, which means my immune system's gonna be better, which means my joints are gonna run better, which means my blood flow is gonna flush better, which means I'm going to be a healthier human being with healthy, clean cells, because I can get nutrients into those cells and get my waste out of those cells. Now, if I am unable to do that because I have a lot of toxic load, now we all have toxic load coming into our bodies. That is life. We have fumes in the air, we have plastics in the carpets, we have things we put on our bodies. All of those things have to be able to clear out of our body, our waste out removal system, which is that lymphatic system, but first cell perfusion. Now, if I have a gunked up cell, do you think I'm gonna be able to pull nutrients in? Am I gonna be able to get nutrients into that cell if that cell is gunked up? No, I'm not. So there's no cell perfusion there. So if, I, if my cells are full of yucky gunk, then my body slows down, my blood gets sticky, my perfusion decreases. When a body is like that, can you imagine the immune system function of that human body? <sighs> Everything slows down everything decreases and everything's going to feel horrid and worse from your brain function to your motor function to your cell function to your gut function to every single thing in your body is going to feel worse now i want to show you a little experiment i've got my two cells here this one's clean it's fresh it's looking good I add my greens powder into that because that's what we do in the morning right we try and be healthy so i add our nutrients in so I add my greens powder into that one and I'm gonna add my greens powder into a cell that's not so healthy, that's full of gunk and crap. Let me mix up this one first. I've pulled, pulled the nutrients in. It's absorbing. It is able to do its thing. It is cell perfusing. Look at that. My body's just gonna be like, ah. Oh. It's gonna suck in all the good things. And then what it can't use, it's going to just excrete out of my body because all my systems work well. They're perfusing well. They're flowing well. Now this one here, try and mix that in. And you will see it's just gunked up on the top. Can you see that? It's not absorbing at all. It just does nothing in that cell. So how am I to get this cell from looking like this and not perfusing to obviously perfusing better? Number one is exercise. <laughs> Number one is you have to physically move your body and flush your system. Just like you do a crap in the toilet and then you flush it away, you have crap in here that needs to be flushed away. You need to flush this toilet. The only way to flush this toilet is to increase your heart rate. Start moving your limb structures, which pumps your lymph. That's going to help cell perfusion. Perfusion. The other one is manual manipulation, like getting into your lymphatic system manually, which I have a course for. <laughs> surprise, surprise. But let's do an experiment. Gunked up cell starting to run and move and not run but just exercise in general move i'm going to start moving this cell and guess what's going to happen 
over time it's going to flush. And you're going to be left with a beautiful cell that's healthy and firing and functioning well. It's not rocket science. If we do not sell perfuse, we get healthy and we get unhealthy and gunky. If you look at a river, and I've said this analogy before, but if you look at a river and it is flowing, it is healthy. If you look at a stagnant pool of water, it harbors disease. That previous cell that I had was harboring disease. Do you want that inside your body? No, you don't. So number one is exercise. Number two, at least for your convenience right now, start massaging the area where your lymphatic system drains into. That is right here, right at your clavicle region, right at this spot here, which is also your thoracic outlet where your blood flow goes to your brain. Now, if this area here is gunked up, the rest of your lymphatic system is not going to flow well either. You're not going to have good cell perfusion if this is gunked up. So every day, at least rub this spot underneath the clavicle. You rub and massage all around it. If it's sore and tender and uh, puffy and swollen, you have a lymph problem, which means you have a liver problem, which means you have an immune system problem, which means you have poor cell perfusion and name the issues <laughs> that you've got going on. So rub and stimulate here 10 times. Tap it out in the morning. Rub down the neck. Let your brain drain into this area. Rub down the neck. That's area number two I want you to start stimulating. Good. Area number three, start rubbing under the armpits. Get this whole chest region and under the armpits flowing. Area number four, I want you to start massaging here, just under the sternum here. You want to start massaging there. Area number five, start massaging here through the groin. Look at that view. <laughs> start massaging here. Area number six, start massaging under your knees. There are six points that you want to flow. Every day you want to clean these bins out because it's going to help with cell perfusion. When a cell can perfuse, it can pull nutrients in and it can get rid of waste, which is what cell perfusion is. You want to be healthier? Start there.